So in this video, we're going to go with the Office 365. I was able to manage to uh, get a trial subscription of Office 365 business. Uh, it was a lot of trial and error because of the personal information. I'm not showing that video. I did make one, but it was brutal. So let's go and fire up our and see if we are able to log in. Again with this what is that? Oh, come on. <clears throat> okay so again we are hitting a roadblock I'm gonna go back and check what's going on so basically that was the during the sign up process that I did not show because it was a lot of uh, trial and errors going on they want you to create a an account um, uh, it's uh, like this one if I can it was let me try it try again not this one back it's sign in it's admin dot at i am dot on microsoft dot com i think it's this one let me see if the password works it did okay all right uh let's save it <coughs> uh let me see if i have I'm in portal <clears throat> how many users and license add users okay show all <clears throat> now feedback come on so add card doc what's new <coughs> Reset power, <coughs> user management. Uh, I was looking for that where it says that your it gives you like uh, 30 users and something like that. Show all. Okay, I have Exchange, SharePoint, Team, All Domain Center, Azure, Admin Center. <coughs> okay, good. Let me see if I can make it bigger. I'm going to the enhanced session. <clears throat> so basically, when you're signing up, uh, and I could not show you, uh, I will create. Since I have a 30-day trial now, I'm gonna wait until it, uh, like, uh, it, at the end of it, I'm gonna do the sign-up process again. So all you have to do is, uh, when you are signing up for the business uh, trial they ask you to verify with the uh, with the phone or something like that that you have to enter and then they send you text once you pa go past that text it asks you to create a user um, uh, on microsoft like i did that is admin at i uh, let's show you again basically what so to manage everything you go to this site address that is portal and now right there so this is my email address they don't want me to use this this is personal so for as a business instead they want since it's trial they want you okay go ahead and do use this one but if you have your own um, uh, let's say a domain then you can change this one to domain so basically this is my username and when i was entering the my personal address it was not taking it it will not work with this one I like it. we have sh uh, seen it earlier so we have to go this one enter the password for this one I saved it so uh, yeah so now it will not bug me all the time <clears throat> 
so I am in here and I think it's taken me to the not the portal I need to go to the portal so let's see if uh, we have portal over here right there admin so we will be working in here this one is the apps we will be working with the portal and if we see set time zones to user profile for go to mail and set the time zone for your calendar let's do that so i'm not international dateline i'm on the uh central oh no eastern sorry about that easter island and then there is at five something it's easter eastern time right there save <coughs> and this is my inbox so let's see if I send out an email welcome um, so this video we're gonna just uh, see what the overall um, what we have in uh, Microsoft Office 365 so it says <clears throat> quickly go with this schedule at a glance so as an administrator we will not be using um, the apps itself if that uh, um, like we should know how these works like should a user have a problem and we can set them like uh, we get calls all the time hey how can I delete uh, my all of my emails then we have to tell them the maximum number of emails that they can delete at a sing uh, with a single click uh, <clears throat> sometimes they want to know how they can change password or all that good stuff so we have to tell them hey go this click here and that, all that so you need to know how software works but you don't need to know uh, like a full-time editing or in WordPress uh, or, or sorry Microsoft Word so you don't have to uh, know that <coughs> let's go back uh, or we can click here so we have two ways this is the back one and this is the apps we can jump to our apps or we can go straight to admin center and uh, this video is basically focusing on the admin center I am tempted to install the I'm gonna get rid of this I'm tempted to install a Chrome like come on Microsoft all right so here is my uh, admin center you can see it's saying it's the company that I work for but I'm not using them uh, I just uh, I did the trial <coughs> So this is what's new, the new admin center or the old one. We can toggle between them. Uh, I installed Office desktop apps, uh, balance, subscription, payment method. So we have training and guides here. We can add the users here. <coughs> this is Azure security compliance, all admin centers. What does that mean all admin centers oh okay so for all of them <clears throat> let's go back here and users click on active users we don't have any users yet so business premium admin this one so we have only one user that is me we can add more <clears throat> I wish I uh, created that video yesterday I was on the phone with somebody so I you know I could not uh, make the video when I was doing it um, but I, I will definitely create a new one and then create share that video like how to actually sign up for office 365 this is the billing information like purchase services <clears throat> Let's make it a little wider as well. <clears throat> Is it helping? Yes, it did. So we don't have to like scroll up and down. We can see the everything. So basically, hmm, where is it? So different types of user account that we can go with 365 select 
three paragraph for detailed comparison and all that so I want to see billing and payments like what it's showing I hope they haven't picked up my <laughs> card automatically because I had to sign up for the home user and there was no admin center so then it's definitely slow <clears throat> So this building account information payment method let's see I threw it everything at it to see uh, what I can do to get this one so I am the global administrator with the alternative email address this one admin here so <clears throat> let's go to settings what do we have in settings settings domains so this is the domain okay this one is my default domain to go with um, <clears throat> here but I can add a domain as well or I can buy let's see what how much the uh, buying a domain costs mm. I know this domain is available I was domain searching earlier and <clears throat> they didn't want me to give they didn't want to give me round.org so this one is avail was available I'm not taking this but uh, I wanted to compare the pricing so this price uh, match with the Google one with GoDaddy they wanted to charge you $11 for the first year and then like $20 plus change uh, every year past that so <clears throat> if you're looking for to buy a domain personal use whatever uh, go with uh, either uh, Microsoft or with Google uh, if I had known this one I would have gone with uh, Microsoft but I already made my decision and I went with the other company uh, so but I got the same price so no big deal let's uh, close it out and this is my uh, admin center if we click show all so it has users groups roles resources everything in the coming days I will be going through all of them learning <coughs> seeing what it is so basically I will not be into learning how Excel works or word, uh, word or database the access or PowerPoint presentation and all that I'll be actually learning all of this stuff right here and how to manage users groups and roles etc everything uh, so <clears throat> this is the hamburger menu that shrinks it customized navigation Navigation pane, okay. Azure Active Directory. Azure is a big thing. It's good. it's not as big as AWS. If you're right now, well, uh, uh, if you know AWS, it's already big. But uh, it's catching. This one is catching up. I'm not saying that it's gonna beat or everything, but that, but it's a good thing to know if you are all into everything <coughs> uh, with the Azure, then go and uh, learn it as well. I know I may, my friends they're going for AWS and I don't I'm not saying that they're doing the wrong thing it's hard so what resources room equipment <coughs> sites Ah, so they given me all of my websites here. Uh, what will happen if I go to this one? Anonymous success allowed. If I go to this one, copy, and open a web browser, and go 
paste and click enter now this is to set up the SharePoint uh, service on my this one SharePoint is usually with the email <coughs> so let's go to home and this one is the new one what if we click this one and get the old look like I was uh, looking at a review where the person said that uh, he used the um, training from some guy and it was on the old interface but then the guy had to work his way to learn this one so you see there's a train yourself for admins train your people you can go with this advanced admin training by LinkedIn so he's what he will oh, um, I just uh, saw this and got excited about training yourself I'm always up for learning but the guy was saying that uh, it was the old interface and his company was using the new one so he used the training from that guy old videos made in 2015 and so what and he but he was uh, uh, like smart enough to uh, navigate his way through the new interface so I think they listen to the people's feedback and they have given you a choice that you can toggle between these two this one looks like a a little bit uh, I would say um, limited type of uh, <clears throat> interface the other interface had a lot into it so basically it has that you have to hover over and then go click a link but that was like giving you uh, all the information uh, without clicking or uh, uh, hovering over so let's say train yourself what it is <clears throat> So definitely uh, in my, uh, when I'm gonna start uh, making everything, I'm gonna add the domain that would be the, if this one, this is video zero, that will be the first video. Or if this is the one, then that would be the second. And trial by now, I was looking for like how many, uh, I remember when I signed up, it says 30 user, 25 license, something like that. So I was looking for that information all over the place. Let's go back to the new uh, admin center. <clears throat> so you see training for admin everything is same it's there if we click here it takes us to the exact same web page so uh, So you can add all the tiles here. Office. Charter. It should be in the licenses. Licenses. <clears throat> if it gives me how many license I have. Right there. So <clears throat> 25 licenses and how many users I have. Like if it gives me the users as well. So I have a like. 25 license with this with 25 licenses that you can uh, issue 25 uh, licenses <clears throat> uh, of office product so obviously 25 multiply by I think $12 per user uh, you do the math so with the users how many users I can guest users um, <clears throat> I'm gonna learn this as well like how many users I can have I think it was like about 25 or 30 users something like that I don't know how it works like if you say that if you have only 25 licenses to give away how you can have 30 users <laughs> we're gonna find out all right so this was the quick uh, overview I am very excited I'm gonna go with this all this in the uh, next upcoming days throughout the December and hopefully will be done by the end of uh, year uh, learning everything 
all right thank you for watching if this video helped you in any way um, please uh, subscribe comment share and yeah good night